Hey drummers, how's it going? I hope you're staying safe and getting plenty of practice in. All I've got for you today is just a quick little one measure drum fill. It's one of those ones where you sort of playing around and it just suddenly comes out and you're like, oh, that sounded quite good. Well, good enough to the point where I thought I'd share it with you. It's probably sort of like intermediate to advanced, again, depending on how fast you play it. And once you get the sticking down, of course, you can start voicing it around the kit how you like. Obviously, I'm a little bit limited because I've only got like the snare, one rack, one floor, but you can start using other drums. What would sound great with this one is if you had like a, a trashy little, maybe like a splash cymbal or a china cymbal with a quick decay um, to replace the bell of the ride. That would sound really sweet, but if you haven't got that, like me, just hit that bell, it's gonna sound great. Um, like I said, it's one measure long, it's predominantly 16th notes, we've got like a little herter in there, so we've got like one of those 16th notes is split into two 30 second notes. It's pretty simple to go through. Starts off with a kick, so it's got a you know, slightly different flow to it from the beginning, um, but I like it, so that's why I'm sharing it. So if you like what you saw in the intro and you wanna give it a crack, stick around and I'll break it down. Here we go. All right, so let's break this down in the usual fashion into little bite-sized chunks. The first thing we're gonna look at is gonna go from beat one all the way up to beat two. So it's gonna be five notes, one E and a two. Uh, we start off with the kick, so let's get that in there already. Kick, then the right hand comes next. Then the left hand comes next, that's on the hi-hat. Okay, we're gonna open that in a second. We then follow that up with another kick. And then we bring the left hand back down and wallop that snare. Giving us kick, right, left, Kick left. If I now open that hi hat for one sixteenth notes worth, one sixteenth notes worth, something like that, um, then it should sound like this. Okay, so it's closing by the time I hit that next bass drum, which is on the up of beat one, leaving a nice little bit of audio space for that snare drum. Right. Once we've done that, we're going to follow up with the herta, which we're going to play off of the high tom. Um, so our first, the herta we're going to play is going to start with the 30 second note. So we're going to play two 30 second notes up in here, which will be the E of B2, E, and then we're going to play the and on the floor, and the up on the snare. Okay, so we get this E and uh, E and uh, E and uh. Now if I add that to what we've got so far, we've got kick, right, left, kick, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, just go through that little phrase a couple of times. So practice that phrase, because it actually could work as like a, a nice little ending to create a little bit of tension. So if you're sort of playing a, gro a bar of groove, uh, and then you're coming to the end. That could sound pretty sweet. So that's one little idea you can take from this. Let's now go from that herter, and what we've got is, I'll just play everything up to what we've got so far. So we've got kick, right, left, kick, left, right, left, right, left. Now the next four notes is gonna be kick, right, left, kick. Okay, so we've got kick, right, left, kick for beat three. Um, and this is the point where I was saying, if you've got like a little, um, little china with a quick decay or a splash symbol over this side of the kit. I mean, I've got one over here, but I don't want to be stretching over here because it's a little bit out of the way, but the bell sounds really nice either way. So go with that if you haven't got those other bits I was talking about. So B3, back on uh, staying on target. We've got kick, right, left, and then kick. Now from there, we're going to go into like the classic Ribchester ending, which is going to be snare drum, high tom, broad tom, kick, and then a crash. I, need, I really need to sort of like develop my ending vocabulary because so many of my feels end up with It sounds cool, so I'll keep going with it. It's sort of a natural thing at this point. So let's just put beat three and beat four together. So we've got three, E, and a, four, E, and a, bang. Obviously, as you go back into beat one of your next bar, you're going to have to that kick at the out of beat four and then again on that crash, unless you decide not to start beat one of the next bar with the crash. But a lot of the time you probably will. All right, so let's piece everything together. Um, I'll call out the sticking first and then I'll sort of count it. So here we go, we've got kick, right, left, kick, left, right, left, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, right, kick, pop. Counting it. One, E and a, two, E and a, three, E and a, four, E and a, bang. Let's chuck that into some groove, not too fast. Cool, 
And again, we can put that little pickup note on the upbeat four of our groove, giving us like a little <laughs> as we go into our feel. I stuttered on that bass drum. Let's do that again. One more. And that's it, that's the fill. Just going through one more time, counting it. One, E and a, two, E and a, three, E and a, four, E and a, crash. Of course, like I said, you can have a little bit of fun just sort of moving some of these notes around. You could be. So what I did was I just did the hurt off the hi-hat there, and instead of hitting the bell of the ride, just hit the high tom. You've got so many options, of course, it's going to depend on your kit setup as to what's going to feel comfortable and what's going to sort of come naturally to you. That's the beauty of like taking these little ideas from other drummers, just changing the voicing a little bit, maybe adjusting the sticking a tiny bit, and you know, all of a sudden you've got a completely different sounding feel. And that's what I do all the time. So, all right, all there is left to do now is just for me to go up and uh, demonstrate it. So we'll sort of do it again, just like slow, medium, fast. Here we go. Nice and slow, one bar of groove, then the feel. Here we go. One, two, three. Faster. One, two, three. drummers there it is i hope you enjoyed that lesson thank you very much for watching like i said at the start it's just a quick simple little lick sort of well i say simple you know when you're breaking it down to its core elements it's not too bad but by the time you start getting up to speed you're sort of pushing intermediate to advanced level um but also it's one of those little things even if you don't play the fill verbatim you can sort of steal some of the ingredients from it and come up with your own stuff which is what i do all the time um, if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up um, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified every time a new lesson comes out, hit that little bell icon. And if you want to go a little bit deeper, there's also my website, which is alexribchesterdrums.com. Right now, we've got like a higher volume of lessons coming in every week, so obviously due to the whole COVID situation. But um, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm going through a lot of the graded material as well. So if you sign up, five pounds a month, 50 pounds for the year, and you're gonna get more than double the number of lessons that you get on here. And they tend to be, I think the last one was like half an hour long, we broke down, are oh, you gonna go my way? Which is like a grade three song from the Trinity Rock and Pops. So we do a lot of learning whole songs, especially if you're a beginner, there's uh, plenty of value there for you. So with all that said, take care, have fun, keep drumming, and I'll see you very soon for some more fun free drumming ideas. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.